Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another video. Let's talk about the purchase receipt of Odoo 70 which can be found inside the accounting module. So first thing which you have to do is go on to the accounting configuration settings and from there enable the purchase uh, receipt, okay? So you can find this purchase receipt under the menu called vendors. Now you might have heard about the vendor bills as well as this purchase receipt. Is there any difference between both uh, or are they both the same? So I'll be talking about the difference in this video but I'll say one more difference which is purchase receipt is something uh, which gives you the details or, or it's simply a document about the products or goods which you send to the vendor okay and purchase bill is actually a request for the payment from the vendor okay so let's move on to the video and see how purchase receipt is created and how it's configured now let's see how to create a purchase receipt okay so for that I'm going to the accounting and once you enter accounting, you have to go to the configuration settings. So under settings, you will have to search for receipts and you will get the purchase receipt. So I'm just enabling it and saving it. Okay. So saving is done. Now what you have to do is you will have to create a receipt. So you have to go under vendors. And if you just take a look, you have this bills as well as receipts over there. There are certain differences between bills and receipts, as I said before. So there's one more difference, I'll tell it. So before that, let's create a new receipt. I'm clicking on new and creating a new one. So here I'm adding a vendor, let it be Abigail. Now here you have a bill reference. If you have any bill reference means you can simply specify it over here. And then you have to specify the bill date. So I'm giving the bill date, the accounting date. Then you have the payment reference as well as the recipient bank. So whichever bank it is, you can specify that. And also you have the date, I mean the due date and also the journal. So that can be specified over here. So by default, the journal is vendor bill. Now you have invoice lines where you can add product. So I'm adding customizable desk. Okay. And here you will be having the journal items. So once it's done, simply confirm it and it will turn out to the state which is posted. As you can see, it's in paid state. Okay. So the thing is that Right now, you can see here you have only one option, which is to reset to draft. Okay. The difference is that for a receipt, you can't create a credit note. And for a bill, you can create a credit note. So I'll show that here you have bills under vendors. Let's create a new bill. So I'm adding vendor, which is Abigail Peterson. And let's adding, I mean, just add an invoice line. That's a product in invoice line. So let it be whiteboard pen. And I'm setting the bill date over here. So let it be 20. And then you have the price and all here. So I'm putting the price as 50. So that's done. Let's save it and simply confirm it. So once the confirmation is done here, you can see an option called credit note. Okay. So I'm registering the payment. So what I said, what my point is that bills for bills, credit notes can be created and for receipts that cannot be created in case of purchase. Okay. So I'm creating the payment. As you can see, credit note is also here once the payment is completed. So that's the difference between the purchase receipts as well as the vendor bills. So I hope it's clear. So that's how you configure the purchase receipt. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.